hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in my previous few videos we discussed uh, the four basic number systems which are uh, involved or which are which, which you come across in uh, digital electronics they are the binary number system the decimal number system the octal and the hexadecimal number system we discuss just the basic introductory concepts about them such as the base the radix and how the positioning of the various symbols uh, affects the magnitude of or the value of the particular number uh, in uh, the next few videos we are going to discuss about the various modes of conversion of a particular number from one number system to the other okay how to convert or how to perform interconversion of a number from one number system to the other how to, how to represent a number in a particular number system in another number system we are going to discuss that so in the first uh, uh, conversion technique we will discuss how to convert a decimal number or a base 10 number into binary form or base 2 form so there are two methods available to us to perform this conversion first one is the sum of weights method and uh, the second one is the repeated division by 2 method now out of these two methods this repeated division by 2 method is most commonly used okay and you will know the reason why it is more commonly used but we will discuss both the methods so that you can decide which one you find yourself comfortable to use and you can use it as per your wish so we will discuss these two methods one by one okay so now we will discuss the sum of weights method of converting a decimal number into binary form but before we do that let us just have a quick re recap about uh, the concept of weight and the positioning uh, of the weights in a binary number system we know that the binary number system uses only two symbols zero and one okay so let us just take a string of zeros and ones let's say one zero one zero point zero one zero one so just to have a quick recap this symbol zero or bit it has a weight of two to the power zero this has a weight of 2 to the power 1 this has a weight of 2 to the power 2 and this has a weight 2 to the power 3 okay and it gradually moves on to the power 4 to the power 5 to the power 6 and so on this is called as the binary point okay this point okay the binary point to the left it starts from 2 to the power 0 1 2 3 and so on to the right of this binary point the weights are 2 to the power minus 1 2 to the power minus 2 2 to the power minus 3 this has 2 to the power minus 4 and so on so this we discussed in the basic concepts related to binary number system but just here to give you a quick reminder i just discussed this okay so this is the weight system which is associated with binary number system now to perform the conversion of a decimal number into binary number what to do okay so let us just take a simple decimal number first let's say we take 9 okay 9 it's in decimal form now again this is very important to, to mention the base or the radix after the bracket especially in digital electronics and number systems okay so we have to convert this decimal number 9 
into binary form. So, in sum of weights method, what we do is that we represent the given decimal number, we can write this decimal number as 8 plus 1. We can write it like that, is not it? We can write it like that. We can further write it as 8 plus 1 as 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 0 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0. You can write it like that. 8 is nothing but 2 to the power 3, 1 is nothing but 2 to the power 0. So, we just arranged it in this way. Now, pay attention to the string of 1s and zeros that we have used. 1 here which is associated with 2 to the power 3, 0 which is associated with 2 to the power 2, 0 again which is associated with 2 to the power 1 and 1 which is associated with the weight 2 to the power 0. So, we can write 9 okay, in decimal form as 1, 0, 0, 1 binary. Okay? This is the sum of weights method to convert the decimal number or base 10 number into binary form. Now, see here we have only used 1s and zeros because only those two symbols are allowed in the binary number system. Okay? So, the trick here is to arrange the given decimal number in such a way that it has a power of, it is a power of 2, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4 and the biggest number value which can be. Okay? Okay? So, let us take another number. Let us say we take 12, 12 in decimal, we have to convert it into binary form. Okay? So, 12 can be written as 8 plus 4, 8. So, 12 can be written as 8 plus 4. Okay? So, we can write it as 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2. Okay? 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8. We have just multiplied 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 0. We have deliberately used zeros because we have to convert it into the binary number system. That is why we have we have proceeded up to this 2 to the power 0 because to the left of the binary point the power starts from 0, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3. That is why we have proceeded up to this 2 to the power 0 and we have deliberately included the 0. We have multiplied this these weights with 0. Now, again you have to highlight these binary digits 1 and zeros. Okay? So, the given decimal number 12 in binary form is 1 1 0 0 okay again the trick is to arrange 
the twelfth given decimal number in such a way that it comes in the power of two. Okay, two to the power zero, or two to the power one, or two to the power two, and two to the power three. Now, one mistake which uh, students make is that they sometimes write it as twelve is equal to eight plus two plus two, and then they do do it like one into two to the power three, and they write it like one into two to the power zero. Sorry, one into two to the power one. Plus one into two to the power one. Now this is wrong. You cannot have two weights, okay, equal. You cannot have like that. You cannot arrange it like that. It will be wrong. It has to be the only one weight with one bit. So this is wrong. There can only be one weight value associated with one bit, okay. Here the weights are the same. Two to the power one, two to the power one. It is repeated, so it will be wrong. So it will always be eight plus four, one weight value, and it should not be repeated. Unique weight values. Two to the power three should not be repeated again. Two to the power two should not be repeated again. Two to the power one should not be repeated again. It should appear once and should be associated with one unique bit. Okay, so avoid this mistake. So this is. Uh, Another uh, way of converting uh, a particular decimal number to binary number. We have taken another number. Suppose we take another number. Let's say twenty-five. Okay, twenty-five. Now twenty-five can be represented as twenty-five is equal to sixteen plus eight. Plus one, sixteen plus eight, twenty-four. Twenty-four plus one, twenty-five. So sixteen can be it can be represented as uh, one into two to the power four plus one into two to the power three plus okay one into two to the power four plus one into two to the power three plus zero into two to the power two plus zero into two to the power one plus one into Two to the power zero. So again, highlight these ones and zeros. So the twenty-five decimal, it can be written as one one zero zero one in binary form. Okay, twenty-five in decimal form can be written as one one zero zero one in binary form so always we have used the same trick to arrange the given decimal number in such a way that it appears in the power of 2 this is 2 to the power 0 this is 2 to the power 3 this is 2 to the power 4 and no repetition of a given weight value of a given power 2 to the power 4 should not be repeated 2 to the power 3 should not be repeated 2 to the power 0 should not be repeated again only once and multiply with One or zero, and then arrange it in the given way. One one zero zero one here. Here it is one one zero zero. Here uh, some uh, we also took nine. We converted it one zero zero one. Now the problem with this sum of weights method is that it is uh, useful when the given decimal number is less of lesser magnitude. Means It is within a uh, hundred. It is uh, ap it is easily it can be applied easily with accurate uh, with accurate answers. Okay, but when the number is generally more than hundred, when it's a large number, suppose one zero two four or one one zero five or let's say. Seven seven six four three five. In case of large numbers, this method is very lengthy, and there is huge possibilities of making a mistake. Okay, the sum of weight method can be easily applied for decimal numbers which are lesser than hundred. You can easily apply it to save time. There is no need to go for the repeated division by two 
method. But when the number is more than 100, the sum of weights method you should avoid because there is more possibility that you can make a mistake. So for numbers more than 100, the repeated division by 2 method of converting a decimal into a binary number is used. Okay, So for that, the repeated division by 2 method is used and for numbers lesser than 100, the sum of weights method is used. Okay, So you can use this sum of weights method for the decimal number, converting decimal numbers lesser than 100 into binary number. Also you can use it for 100 if your calculation is very good, you can use it. But I would suggest you for numbers greater than 100, you go for the uh, repeated division by 2 method. Okay.